Hello everyone, Pally Tub here, and welcome back to Rogue Legacy 2. Hope you guys are doing very well today. We find ourselves at the entrance of the Kerglouian Plateau. You guys have been telling me video after video after video about a secret area up here, and this is how you access it. You jump up the right side. There's actually two platforms up here if you take a look at the mini-map. I'm actually losing and gaining elevation depending on where I'm standing. You need to be on the second platform, and then read... The gates look strangely beautiful at night. I know the villagers hate me for what I did, but I had no choice. The land has gone cold and my brothers refused to send aid. The weak, the old, the wretched. I gave them all a merciful end. The villagers still believe the gates will open one day, but I know they will not. Yet every night I stare down at these iron bars. I'm afraid that they just might. This is what allows you to get a 15% increased damage to the boss of the third area. Funny enough, this is not what I've been trying to find. <laughs> so maybe I just completely made it up or I've been giving you guys the wrong signals for what I'm trying to find. Uh, to be honest, I'm, I'm not sure. Hopefully I find it one day. The area I have been referring to is I believe in this zone, and it's just clouds off to the right. Now that I'm saying this, it may actually be inside of the Stygian study, which makes sense as to why I haven't been able to find it yet. But I'm actually not 100% convinced. It might be around here somewhere. Anyway, thank you guys so much for joining us today. I wanted to start the video off showing you guys that. I did get a few episodes ahead of what was on YouTube again, so um, that is why we didn't do that a little bit sooner. Hopefully today will be the last day that we hang out in the Kerguelian Plateau. We've been having really good boss attempts ever since the very first attempt we walked up on the boss with. However, that 15% damage increase could be all we need to really sway the scales into our favor. We are playing as a Ronin today. Obviously, no negative traits. Does have the Spore Burst, which isn't a dot. It just does poison damage when a target dies. There you go. <laughs> Apparently I've been explaining that wrong too. Uh, as we make our way up into this area, we're looking for chests because I have increased the rarity of the armor yet again. In between episodes, because I was ahead of the YouTube release schedule, I've just been bringing characters into the castle specifically to try to beat the challenges. And then after they beat the challenges, I just retire them. I literally walk into the castle and they go to sleep. So we do have gold progress on every challenge I have unlocked, except for the, literally didn't even see it. Except for the new ranger one, which I don't believe I've even shown you guys yet. It was a piece of work. Uh, but like the twin boss battle stuff, that is all done. Wow, that is a really difficult area to get out of, but a golden chest on the other side gives us the Leather Helm plus one. I know I can get out of that, just doing Ronin stuff. I think I've been a little careless with my HP so far. We're kind of taking a beating as we go through here. We have 120 resolve, 126 resolve that we can mess around with, but I don't believe that is an item I want. That was the Rage Tincture. If we pick that up, it's going to... Um, Make it so we deal more damage during our immunity frame. Didn't choose an apple, because I don't know how I'm feeling. I've actually lost a lot of health so far, so I might want to save that apple for my actual boss attempt so I can get in there and be really effective. At least that's the hope, that's the plan. Um, I could have gotten the life increase and probably have been fine. In fact, you know what? I'm going to go back and get that. There's still plenty of this zone to go, and we can always farm H HP off of lower level enemies, too. 76 damage in order to get 40 more maximum HP. I'll take it. Hopefully, we didn't bite off a little more than we could chew with that. Really clean movement through the middle of that room there. I hope you guys are not getting sick of seeing the Ronin yet, because it really is my favorite class. I think next episode, we'll unlock yet another class, another new one that we haven't touched in this playthrough just yet. I know the boxer's kind of been calling to me. I also saw a special weapon I could unlock for the boxer that looks pretty cool. The dragon lancer is looking pretty tempting, and he's in a pretty good spot on the tree as well. Did you see that troll-ass room right there? 
What was that? Oh, I don't like that shield being in there. And he is just following me to a T. Wolf drop down, that's pretty scary, but a nice cut to the back. We'll take him down before he can deal any damage. Yo, what's a guy got to do to get a little bit of chicken in a place like this? I suppose this is one of the things we could do. Uh, eating health drops while at full health increases your maximum health by 10% with a maximum of six stacks or defeated enemies have spore burst applied to them by default. I do like that one a lot, but I don't think it's going to do us any favors right now. 35 resolve would also lower our maximum HP. Honestly, it would lower it probably back to the point that we were kind of at before where uh but before we got the other apple nice dodge over that trap there sometimes they like to stick an elite down in this corner so i was making sure i used my right stick to look where i was leaping but so far so good very tall damn it bro those things are so hard to see are you serious i was two steps away from it okay we're fine. I can hit both of these guys through the wall. Stay back. Almost messed that up, actually. Almost walking into the poison of that flower that he was spitting out. That would have been bad. We have another relic room here. We do have, I mean, 20 resolve to mess around with if we really want to, ah, to get something done. Well, I'll try again. The Rona can make it in one leap. There we go. <gasps> I did it on accident. Oh, dashing creates a wave that destroys me medium-sized projectiles. We just gave 50 resolve for that. It was seriously on accident. I just tapped the button without thinking. Oh, no. And all of a sudden, this run that I was so confident in got a lot more tense, didn't it? Got a lot more tense. Well, we found the boss room. Uh, what this actually does is you can see when I dash Three tiles ahead of me will have the projectile removed That is actually helpful for the boss. So I mean I I don't hate it too much You stay down there, bud I don't hate it too much. Uh, the the boss does spawn. Ooh 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 Ow No, no Fuck! Uh, the boss does spawn a lot of projectiles, is what I was gonna say. Oh, we actually found more lore. DZ, I know it must have been hard, but thank you for agreeing. When do I start? Well, that was short and sweet. Straight to the point on that one. We have over 100 HP to make up at this point. Uh, my plan is to fully clear out this side of the castle and then go back to the level, you know, the starting castle and start to clear that. But actually getting a little bit of meat into my system should go a pretty long way towards us meeting our goal. Woo! Nice. Oh, not nice. Hit him with the spore. Ouch! 50 fucking damage! Whoa! He was, he was doing like a shield bash. That wasn't the spin-up attack. I didn't know elites could do that. We learned something about elites today. Uh, not quite a full clear yet. We do have another area to explore. Over here on the right, there are two branching paths. I don't expect this to go very far. In fact, this might be where the scar is because I, yeah. Because I don't really see much space for any other rooms here. However, this one could be anything. Hopefully it's a chest. It is not. We have a shield at the top of the room. Ooh. Oh, so I dealt damage with the dash. Is Oh, yeah, good. Good. G glad I dealt damage with the dash. Good. Glad I tried to replicate that. Good for my health. We take 66 damage, but my health would be close to what it was before. I could just go farm the beginning castle. That's not a big deal to me. I'm really thinking about it. Let's see if I can get a little bit more HP here before I commit. So I'm not looking at literally just six HP or whatever it was going to be. Nice dash through. That's looking good. I just really want to redeem this run. I feel so stupid after making mistakes. And I, I know oh, everybody makes mistakes, but that one where I lost 50 resolve for just hitting the button, that one hurt. 42 HP. I believe I'm still one shot if anything touches me in a tier three zone. 
However, we're pretty safe if we head back to a tier one zone. I don't think there's anything I can read in here that's new, but I was hoping one of those boxes might have a little something for me. Oh, this is new. Yeah, this is new. The conservatory is my home now. The villagers want nothing to do with me. To waste, waste such a space is an insult to all that we have sacrificed. I will make it beautiful. Two lilies for those who have fallen, for those who will fall. I shall give my children a final celebration and a final meal. The forest must come first and sacrifices must be made. Take from the land would undo everything that we have worked for. One day they will understand. Interesting. Am I getting new dialogue because I uncovered the insight at the beginning of the run? Lose no health. <laughs> oh, what is that? Narrow praxis. Your emotional connection has been improved. Did I tell you guys? I unlocked the Ballistic Archer because I did. And I think that's what it's for. I think. There is one more room to the left. I was going to surprise you with it in another episode. Uh, I believe that's the only advanced class I've unlocked at this point. Oh, shit. Missed everything multiple times. Oh, God. This room looked like a fucking nightmare. But hey, as long as I don't attack, nothing will attack me, right? So I'll just get this chest and then be completely cornered on this side of the room. Oh, God! Ah! Wait, there's another chest at the bottom. Fuck! Hey, 4,000 gold is not bad for a run. I guess. Uh, I really wanted to accomplish so much more, but that one fatal mistake really hurt me. The good news is our samurai actually leveled up to rank six, meaning we have another strength bonus for our fine for our full account. And that was a full clear. <laughs> that final chest was all we needed for the full clear. So I guess I don't feel that bad. That was still a pretty good money-making round. We still need pretty good money-making rounds. This guy has crippling intellect. I'm afraid to see what that is. But we're only going to find out one way. You know what I mean? We're only going to find out one way. Uh, we do have 4,000 gold to spend. Anything really catching my fancy in here? The Warden Helm gives us... What? Plus five to our vitality? If we upgrade the Leather Helm to plus one... Looks like that gives us a little bit less. But it's also a lot lighter as well. Probably not worth it considering I have the dexterity set increase right now. And we didn't find too much else as far as those go. I don't really like the fact that I spent money there just to see. Uh, I don't know if there's a way of better doing that. I do like the folded rune. We don't have enough weight for it yet. Uh, I also like the trick rune. That seems really good. However, these runes are getting super duper heavy. Really, really heavy. We're going to have to add a lot of weight to really make any of these, these worth it. Let's go ahead and buy this. We're going to need to come up with uh, another 20 pounds of rune weight before we can equip it. With $2,900 in the bank, that may not actually be doable. Uh, wow, is this really the only rune weight up? We might be able to increase it with some challenges. Might be able to increase it with some challenges. Hmm. We could juggle some stuff around a little bit, but I actually really like all the runes that I have equipped at the moment. I don't think I want to get rid of any of them. The only exception might be the second stack of this, which is 10 pounds of rune weight. So that means that the sharpened rune can be equipped. We get a point or 2.5% increased critical hit chance. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. Let me show you my trophies. I have three golds now. I've just been doing these in between episodes and then retiring the character. Uh, and also up here, we do have the 
ballistic archer unlocked and ready to go with 600 of the currency left to spend that I have not spent yet. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get a uh, ranger ready. We're going to then make it a ballistic ranger when we select them. And we will go into the next episode with the very first of our advanced classes. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed the run. Sorry it ended so abruptly. I really had a lot of confidence. That elite had other plans for me though. We'll be back again tomorrow with another episode. Take care and I'll see you again next time.